I was told by Intel I may be the only person in the world to have tried both Santa Cruz from Oculus as well as their latest Intel Project Alloy demo, both of which are standalone, inside out, uh, no external hardware needed products. And uh, the demo I just tried with Project Alloy had a three DOF controller, which means it can only go left, right, up, down. I can't reach back and forward. The, uh, the controller, I, want, I definitely want to try a six DOF controller because I'm not, I have to lean forward into things rather than reach out and grab them. And uh, it also drifted, the, or I drifted, uh, the room moved uh, from my perspective quite a bit. Uh, but they attributed that to the fact that there were so many people in the room. I'm a little, I'm a little uh, nervous about my surroundings, you... even the drift. But it feels really solid. Basically, all the all the things that I noted were limitations of the of the current tech demo. It sounded like uh, there should be examples of those missing pieces in the demos down below, uh, which they say by this year will all come together into a consumer product. That, that has all these things. So like six DOF controllers where I can do the, the in-out. Uh, they supposedly won't drift the room as much uh, once, once it's finished. The Santa Cruz demo that I saw was very sparse. So that the environment that I saw in VR had almost nothing in it, just a very static environment. There was a few things moving around. Uh, this one had uh, quite a bit more going on, uh, but the, the controller limited my interactivity in the world. Me leaning, moving around, was accurately positionally tracked. Um, I don't know if the software had good collision detection because I was trying to dodge those, those, these particle beams that are coming at me, uh, like in Space Pirate Trainer, and it wasn't working. That might have just been a software thing. Um, overall, it's, it's quite heavy. They say it'll be lighter when it's uh, finished for the consumer unit, um, or multiple consumer units if they get it out to a, a number of partners. Weight is evenly distributed, it's not hanging too heavy on my um, nose. The whole front of the unit has the processor and the screen, so there's a lot of heat going on up there. And they were pointing out that the processor is basically a Surface, I mean, it's like the processing power of a Surface Book inside of the front of that unit. I ended up coming out of a very short session sweating, but they attributed that to the, um, the eye cup or the eye box, uh, not breathing, so there wasn't like space to let the heat out from my face. Um, obviously something that would be fixed with a consumer unit. So they said it ran at 90 frames per second. It's, uh, when I saw the Oculus Santa Cruz demo, uh, I actually went to talk to John Carmack because I wanted to figure out the frame rate uh, of that. Like, it's hard to tell. Um, they said it, I think he said it ran at 60, but he wasn't sure. They said this ran at 90. Um, certainly looked like it could have been. Um, things look crisp. I think the biggest problem for me of the whole thing was the drift. I, I want to see it without the drift. Um, you can't have the drift in a, in a real world scenario. And even if you have a party room with a bunch of people in it, like you don't want to have the drift happen if, if you've got more people in the room. Yeah, I'm curious to see this as a dev kit. I, I don't know about a consumer product. It's hard to see if there's a lot to polish off before they, this becomes a consumer product. So that was the Intel Project Alloy demo at CES 2017.